today we're going to go over some footage from trying to clear the entrance to the barn site. This is kind of an area that I had just piled up all the shrubs and logs and whatever from clearing this uh, driveway road to the right of me in the video. So there was a lot to sift through that was just kind of brambly trash. <laughs> <coughs> this will all, in the not too distant future, get uh, lit on fire and we'll make a big bonfire with it. There was some of it, uh, like this one here that I'm turning, I'm pausing the tractor and I'm going to grab the chainsaw and cut that up into small firewood pieces. Uh, this one was a service berry, if I remember correctly. And uh, there's a lot of service berry and filbert in here that I decided was worth setting aside as uh, smoking wood. So when I use the smoker or when I am cooking over an open fire, then I'll save those or use those logs for flavor smoke flavor and then I decided I'd go ahead and take care of a little else there uh, but for the most part this this area is unfortunately in kind of a limbo status um, we were hoping to get a excavator this summer but that didn't work out uh, we ended up getting a dump trailer instead and that actually turned out to be a huge blessing uh, we, we have made drastic use of that dump trailer it's been awesome but unfortunately we've really found the limits of this little uh, tractor backhoe and it, it does a, a great job at a lot of things but it just doesn't do the excavation work very well. It's just slow and tedious because you have to sit and move it uh, back and forth pretty often. And your, your reach is very, very limited. So for, for the cost, I mean, all things considered, you know, if you account for the, the mount the, and the backhoe itself, and the connections, you know, to make it work. I think the total cost to add that to the tractor was like 13 grand. And that 13 grand has definitely been earned um, in the time that we've had that. Let's see, we've got, we got the tractor last June. So 16 months. And I've done a ton of work with it. However, uh, the amount of work that I have done has would definitely be faster if I'd have had a, uh, well, if I'd have ignored the salesman and spent the extra two grand to get a hydraulic thumb on this, the difference would have been phenomenal. Um, the, the mechanical thumb does okay, but it's just it's like an afterthought functionality, whereas the hydraulic thumb would have allowed me to do things like this task much, much easier because then I could actually uh, pick things up easier, move things easier, carry things easier. But the salesman actually talked us out of it, um, saying, oh, you don't need a hydraulic thumb because it's not an excavator and you're not going to be picking things up and moving them around. <laughs> well, the amount of logs branches and rocks that I have picked up and moved around. Um, I know now going forward to ignore such a comment, but that's okay. It is what it is. So it's still, I mean, it's definitely worth having. And if the choice to get us going was a, um, you know, only an excavator or not having the backhoe functionality, 
the the we made the right decision in my opinion to to get this added on the downside is we will be planning to upgrade the tractor in the not too distant future and we won't be upgrading it to another with the backhoe um, we'll get uh, 60 horse so that we can lift bigger logs and uh, this one this one does a pretty good job it's rated at like 1700 pounds and it lifts most of the logs that we need and whatnot but uh, we will be using it to move IBC totes full of uh, water in the future and those weigh 20 roughly 2300 pounds um, so the tractor that we're gonna get has a rating of 2500 pounds and that'll help with moving logs much easier So everything that I found that is, uh, like I said, hazelnut or service berry so far. I'll come back through and cut real quick. I think this is actually the thickest part of what needs to be cleared. So. Hopefully when I get back up there, after I get some dry ground again, I'll be able to at least work my way through and see what, what we need to actually get an excavator for. So for the time being, the plan is come spring, as soon as it starts to dry out a little bit, we'll We'll rent an excavator for a couple of days, a weekend maybe. And we'll just bust out what we need to get get done. It'll actually be nice to have the excavator and the tractor at the same time because then we can dig and move dirt uh, simultaneously. So. this point I'm just trying to everything that I took obviously I'm gathering up in the front loader stack it all so I can get as much as I can in there and then I'll go transfer it all over to our little firewood stand And get this guy loaded up. Charlie's, uh, <laughs> he's very confused. Every time I pick up a log, he thinks it's being picked up to throw and play fetch with. <laughs> it's not going to make a very good bonfire, though, if I'm, you know, being honest about it because it's a lot of it is it's just all small wiry stuff kind of so it's it's gonna burn super hot super fast it 
It'll still be fun though. It'll still be a good day. That little Kubota symbol in the center there keeps popping off. It's kind of annoying. But it's pretty ugly to not have it there. <laughs> so I keep putting it back on. And at this point, there are a bunch of root clusters here that I need to get rid of. So I'm positioned a little bit differently. And as always, there are the chickens. Tractor come, tractor runs and the chickens come, come follow them. try and reposition and keep going at it. You can see the goal for this morning was to try and get to this oak tree in the background. I'll, I'll, uh, we'll, we'll throw a, a circle around that or a line or something, but uh, that's where I'm trying to get to. I've got the, uh, I've got the neighbors who are a family of uh, professional fellers. Um, they're coming over to help take down a bunch of the trees that we're working on for our driveway. Now this particular cluster is actually a, a hawthorn, black hawthorn. And so it got cleared out of the way and then some of these branches got chipped but most of them are just going to get piled up and, and burned because hawthorn has really uh, fairly nasty spikes, actually. Um, it's, it's name is fairly well deserved to have thorn in the name. It's an interesting fruit, though. It's like a. Um, it's kind of like a, a, a apple flavor, but it's got a soft texture to it. It's almost like um, like a firm applesauce almost. Kind of just melts in your mouth. It's one that we'll, uh, we'll try making stuff out of it one of these days. Our, our biggest challenge right now is that we still don't have anywhere that's safe from freezing to store uh, canned products. So that's why we're trying to get some structures built right now so that we can focus on that. And in hindsight, I guess technically the black hawthorn is a fruit tree. So I probably should have set that aside and uh, saved that for, for smoking. I think I'm going to have to do that going forward. So at the moment now I'm cleaning up, trying to dig in and, and create a, a roughly level spot, uh, just like I was doing with the, the driveway. Dig into the high side, move it over and drop it on the low side, then I'll come back and drive over it a bunch of times and smooth it all with the box blade. Eventually I'll get a replacement for the grading blade. That'll probably be one of the next videos is showing some pictures of the style of grading blade that I definitely do not recommend going for. Um, but uh, when I when I get me a better better built heavier duty grading blade then I'll be able to really do the finish work for all of these areas. Excuse me, all of these areas. Now 
And this is more of the uh, service berry, actually, which is a frustrating plant to take out because it's one of the ones, it's a native edible berry, and we want to try and cultivate anything that is edible that we can. But sometimes it's just in the wrong spot, and as you can tell, it just it fell over and just kept growing. The, the trees do that a lot here. So I'm trying to break it and get out what I can, and eventually I gave up and came out and started cutting it into firewood pieces. Started just at one side and cut everything, working my way across. We did get to that tree, and I'll, like I said, I'll get to some footage of that too. So thank you for watching, though. Stay safe, and hope hope everybody out there is, has a fantastic time, day, week, whatever.